who <clears throat> is the best currently right now who is the best cdm in the world because i think that based on form i believe that i mean if i, I believe it's for Binio. i think the conversation is between fabinho casemiro and rodri i think it's between rodri all right go on go on yeah, no, I, I think with this i think rodri is damn good very no, very good well, hmm. Okay, so, but wait, 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 are, you, are you only not including Fernandinho because he's playing centre back at the moment? That's the thing. Is that, like, the, is that why you're not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's been centre back. So for me, I'm like looking at like mm. those who've been playing CDM recently. So, and I'm not looking at all overall things. So for me, my vote goes for as of right now, forgetting legacies of right now, I'm going to say Fabinho is the best CDM in the world right now. I just think like what this guy does for Liverpool and how he's able to, first of all, do his, C- his CDM work. And also controlled the game because really he was important in Liverpool having a chokehold for Tottenham mm. not in the game. He gets my my votes for, for so for you guys who is the best. Before CDM? you come before you come in, shout out God Diggers podcast because he used the term CDM that apparently doesn't exist. I don't know if you saw it on Twitter. <laughs> no, I didn't see that. She, uh, one mm. of the girls from Gold Diggers said CAM C A M mm. and CDM and. Yeah. Some guys were like, ah, oh, you don't know nothing mm. about football because who says CDM? It's obviously you play FIFA. Mm. But shout out, because <laughs> obviously the word exists and yeah. everyone knows what you're everyone talking knows, about. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, guys are saying Jacques is the best CDM. So, yeah. Let's guys, see. relax. We'll, 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 Let's we'll wait. The Let's wait. Yeah, you, what you gonna say? No, I was just, just going to say, I'm not disagreeing that Fabinho is on form. I think he is, he's been very good since he got into the Liverpool team. Yeah. But it's strange that he can't get into the Brazil team with the CDM because Casemiro. So can he be the best... In the world, if he can't even get into the national team, if he's not like, the he best in his country, if he's not the best in his country, <laughs> let's just relax. You know, you know what I mean? Let's just relax. And I'm not saying, oh, because if you don't get in a Brazil team, then you're rubbish or mm. anything like that. I'm, he, on form, he may very well be, but it's not clear cut that he is. Not clear and obvious. Yeah. Might need a VAR check. Boom. <laughs> there you go. I, I like Fabinho. I really do. I, I wanted him at Man United um, mm. because I saw that he could play right back and he could play CDM, mm. and that's when we had. Um, Valencia, young fighting over the right back position. I was yeah. like anyone, but them in it and Damian. But I think what he's how he's playing now is what, how I envisions he would be, and he's playing his best football right now. So yeah, on form he is, but that's only for me, only for Liverpool because no, no, so it's only because Fernandinho is not playing um, in the defensive midfield position because of injuries. For me now. Casemiro, I would say over Rummage's three years winning the Champions mm-hmm. League, best. Mm-hmm. But since then, yeah, he hasn't really mm-hmm. hit the highest that he was in that three-year period. Um, he, I haven't seen him as much this season, so I'm not sure if he's if he's how how well he's playing. But I would say prior to this season, in the last like year, year and a half, I would have said Fernandinho. Um, and I'm I'm gonna stick by it because. Man's just playing in a role. He's having to fill in in a position because of things around. And another him. thing as well, how many actual CDMs are there in World Football at the moment? There's not many. It's not, it's not, not many um, teams Tom, play that anymore. Tom, I mean, you could argue Thomas Pate for Atletico Madrid could be a CDM. I also argue that, I, um, I mean, for me, I also make an argument of Rodri that he sort mm. of plays a CDM. You could argue that like, like Busquets no, sort see, of plays there, so it's like I don't think I don't think Rodri is a CDM. I love him more as a deep lying playmaker, kind of in a Jorginho well, playmaker, mode. Like, like a Jorginho mode. I don't think well, he's it depends a how we talk, like it, it depends how we talk about CDM because CDM yeah. is a position, but within that position, there's you different, different tactics. Yeah. So you have a register who you play in the defensive yeah, midfield position, like but you you playmate mm. like Perlo mm. and. Uh, McAlealy are two different players exactly. who both played in the central yeah. defence midfield. No, I, I mean because position, because so. Fabinho does lots of balls over the yeah. top, and mm. he actually does a lot. So you could argue that he's a CDM <clears throat> and, and a deep lying player mm. as well. So he sort of does. Yeah, he's brilliant. So um. Yeah.